Good thump. Good thump. That might be a good one. That might be a good one. What's going on, y'all? I am out here today in the Old Town Autopilot 120. I think this might be the first video y'all have seen of me actually fishing out of this kayak. And what more better way to do it than to go target some flounder. So that is what we're going to do this morning. We are going to try to get some flounder in the box. Hopefully catch us a big one. Y'all stay tuned. See if we can get them. All right, so I'm easing into my first little spot right here. Got all this structure along the, uh, the bank. And I'm just going to use the old spot lock feature and spot lock us in place. See if we can pick us up a flounder right here. Uh, I think we got a fish on. There we do. Our first fish is a small flounder. That is the targeted species right there. Been at it for just a little while now. And uh, that is our first fish. Would not be a keeper. This is our first flounder right here. Probably sitting around 11 or 12 inches. Let him go. Bye bye. So this is the lure that we're using this morning. This is the Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is our Cajun pepper color. This is my own personal lure. I will link those down in the description. So if y'all want to pick some of those up, just check out the link. But we're just throwing that out right now, bouncing it around. As you can see right now, we're in all this grass. We fished rocks, we fished channels, and we even fished a little bit of broken up dock. Have not had a bite at all until I moved out to this grass right here. We just picked up our first flounder. I think that's going to be one of many. Good thump. Good thump. That might be a good one. That might be a good one. It's a flounder. Biggin'. That's a good flounder. <laughs> yeah. That is what I'm talking about. I mean, he thumped it right at the boat. Feel like we might have him hooked good. Yeah, that's a really, really nice flounder, y'all. Look at that stud. Look at that stud. My goodness, y'all. Boom. Let's go. This guy is lucky that I left the ice box at the house because he's going to get to swim today. But man, what a doggone good looking flounder that is. What a way to start the morning off. Our second fish and on the Cajun pepper hoodwink right here. So it's an awesome, awesome lure for flounder. And as you see, we got us a really, really good one this morning. We're going to go ahead and get a quick measurement see what she goes got to be over 19 yeah she's just shy of 20. man that's a good looking fish right there that's the kind of caliper flounder we were looking for coming out here today looking for these big ones all right what a stud catch right there 19 and a half inches bye bye boom let's go y'all all right well we're going to ease back into this grass line where we picked that up and we're going to get back going parallel with this grass bank we're at the peak of high tide right now and you'd see that water is just flowing through the grass that's our second flounder this morning we haven't been hitting this marsh system or marshy islands too long uh so this might be the the pattern right here uh i would love to get a couple more uh that size but man I would really love to get one over 20, not to be stingy or anything, but one over 20 would just be amazing. He's on, he thumped it, he's on. Mm, I felt that one on slight line and that is a speckled trout. All right then little fella, not what I was looking for. Crazy sensitivity in this rod. 
I felt that thump on a slack line. Didn't really do anything, just threw it out there and I felt them on there. Oh, well, that right there would be a legal speckled trout. So you do. Not the targeted species, but always fun to get a bite, especially from a speckled trout. We got fish on. We got a fish on. That's not feeling like a flounder. Yep, another trout. It was moving sideways on me. One thing's for sure, these hoodwinks catch just about anything, especially speckled trout and flounder. Something's on it. That might be a flounder. Yeah, it's gonna be a flounder. He's holding down. That might be a good one. He ain't wanting to come up. Yeah, yeah, flounder number three. Come here. Ah, oh, he ain't that good. Boat flip think that would be a keeper though the way he was just hanging down it was making me think he was going to be a little bit bigger coming up but that would be a keeper flounder all right well appreciate the bite dude see you next time so we are on some flounder y'all but check it out a full breakdown of this entire trip will be available on my Patreon page. I'm gonna link that up here and also down in the description, I do a Google Earth overlay of this entire trip, uh, letting you know um, where I launched from, the area that I'm fishing, but more importantly, uh, the conditions that I'm fishing, weather, everything that kind of went into this trip and how we caught these flounder. Also, I have a flounder masterclass available on Patreon as well. And in that, it basically uh, goes over everything flounder fishing, A to Z, fishing docks, fishing rocks, uh, different types of baits, different rigs, everything you need to know to be able to get on more flounder. Uh, so if y'all would, head over there, check that out. And yeah, back to the fishing. All right, let's get back on this grass line, see if we can get us another one, but check it out. So there's a couple of retrieves that I like to do whenever I'm flounder fishing. Uh, the retrieve that's worked today is just kind of light twitches coming back to me you know sometimes two sometimes three twitches um i guess my most common retrieve for flounder would be at like a double twitch right there kind of pop pop let it sit back down um sometimes depending on the aggressiveness of the fish i will give it some sharp pops like that right there um, but today like the tide's not moving the water's real still you can kind of just see the bait fish moving around And so I feel like just some nice light twitches keeping it just above the bottom bouncing it back down uh, Is the way to go and that is pretty much uh, My number one go-to flounder retrieve also sometimes I like to give it just some rapid twitches all the way to the top give it a little bit more action on the lure like I said, something like that would be if I had a little bit windier conditions, a lot more water movement, things like that, I would go uh, to some rapid twitches or some hard twitches. Got something on. Got something on. Another trout. See ya. Got him. Make sure I still got weight, still got weight. Yep, there he is. Boom. Flounder number four. Bye bye. <laughs> Man, these guys are so fun to catch, especially when you're out there, you just throwing around and you feel that thump and it's just, you just know that that's the flounder you're looking for which that was a small one but um i don't know this is just so addictive but i'm gonna talk to y'all a minute about uh kind of the hook set and the um the process of, of knowing whether or not you got a flounder on so when i'm sitting here flounder fishing i'm working that lure back to me and i feel that thump and when you're flounder fishing most of the times when a flounder hits he's not going to sit there and dee -dee 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 -dee. that's you know when you're feeling your your rod going dee -dee 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 -dee, stuff like that typically that's croaker that's going to be pinfish other stuff also 
when a flounder bites you're gonna feel that dunk, just a sudden dunk, and then it's gonna sit down right if it were a redfish or a trout typically they're gonna bite and your lines gonna move they're gonna start running off so the moment that I sit there and I throw that lure out and I feel that sudden dink, right? I'm gonna sit there, set my rod tip down for just for a second, kind of process. Okay, I think that was a flounder bite. Typically what I'll do is lift my rod and if I feel any kind of weight right there, I go ahead and set it down and sweep all the way through my hook set, making sure I get a clean hook set. You know, and sometimes it's a flounder sometimes it's oysters sticks grass you know um it's just one of them things where it's better to uh try to set the hook and see what you got versus you know acting like you don't got one or treating it like it's not one and then all of a sudden you find out that you just lost a big flounder got them that's gonna be a trout because it's moving see how it's moving that's gonna be a trout decent little trout our count for the day is five trout oh come on dude there we go <laughs> they about beat me to death anyways our count for the day is five trout and four flounders and we've only been on this grass line right here for maybe a little over an hour got him good thump good thump That's a good trout. All right. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> he sat down like a flounder too. That is a decent speck. Getting airborne on me. Come on in the boat one time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you would think I was out here trout fishing and not flounder fishing. Man, they are. This dude is fat. Definitely the biggest trout of the day. My goodness, one of my favorite, favorite fish to target too. After flounder, it would have to be speckled trout. All right, girl, we'll see you. Appreciate that bite. Bye-bye. What a catch. Now that might be a flounder. Another trout. Another good trout. Come here. All right, chill out, chill out. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was completely unexpected. And another good one. That's about a 19 inch trout, 18, 19 inch trout right there. Skinny guy, but she's long though. I'm gonna get some pliers in there, get that hook out, get a good release on you, girl. I'm telling you, if you aren't throwing the hoodwink right there, y'all gotta pick it up. They absolutely just catch fish multiple species here today lots of good fish being caught I'm trying to get a flounder i promise y'all but these trout just won't leave me alone so so far we have six flounder and seven speckled trout it has been a jam up morning out here but check it out if y'all like this type of content right here get this video to 900 likes if this video gets 900 likes i will put out more content just like this where i try to go real heavy on information uh, and just try to put out as much as i can but anyways get this video to 900 likes we'll do more videos just like this gotta catch us another flounder so we can even up the store with the trout can't let the trout outdo the flounder today that was a thump that was a thump oh, come on another flounder there we go flounder number seven and another keeper. That's a decent looking flounder coming in around 17, 16, 17 incher. I mean, look how fat this flounder is right there. I mean, I don't see how he could fit anything else in his gut. Man, they are super, super aggressive right now too. Such awesome fish right here. Always, always enjoy coming out targeting these guys. Man, I appreciate the fight, buddy. See you next time. All right, so that's our seventh flounder. Seven flounders, seven trout, and it is like 9.30 right now. So it has been a killer 
morning uh, but check it out comment below do y'all like targeting flounder with live bait or artificial bait uh, just leave a comment below i'd love to see your feedback on what you like to target your flounder with but now we're going to go ahead and head back where we started we've started to get a little bit of tide starting to fall out and i think i can target some flounder maybe even some big ones uh, out here in a channel so i'm going to head out to this channel and drop around in a little bit of deeper water around some structure some rocks so we can pick up some more flounder all right well we didn't pick up any flounder back there in the channel that's all right we had a great morning we landed seven flounder and uh seven trout but real quick before i end it i want to talk about the setup uh, for anybody that's interested in knowing uh, the gear and setup that I was running today. So uh, the rod that I'm using is a 7.2 medium fast action uh, and it's made by Chubby Rods, 100% made in America um, with American components. So awesome rod, this thing retails for 130 bucks and it is easily my most favorite rod that I own. Um, just a really, really good rod, but the reel is a Shimano Corrado 150, and I got that paired up with 15 pound Suffix 832 camo braid. And I have that with a very long, about a four and a half, five foot uh, fluorocarbon leader. That's 15 pound test. Uh, we already talked about the lure a little bit. It is our Southern Salt Hoodwink cajun pepper color uh, if you see the water clarity right there a little bit dingy a little dirty uh this is pretty much kind of like a, a crossbreed between a white and a pink color but i love it in semi-dirty water like we got here today uh, and then the jig head that i'm running is just a quarter ounce uh, screw lock jig head and anytime i'm fishing in water between zero and six feet a uh, quarter ounce jig head seems to do just fine anything over six feet or so or in higher currents you might need to go to a heavier jig head something around a three eighth or something like that thought i was getting a bite but anyways i hope y'all found this video extremely helpful um i tried to come out here and just try to really explain my thought process in targeting these flounder we were able to get some really nice ones especially at 19 and a half here on the alabama mississippi and upper gulf coast 19 and a half inch flounder is a very respectable flounder i understand that if you're on the east coast and then farther up north on the east coast that might be a very small flounder or fluke to y'all but here on the gulf coast that is a big one uh, but anyways, um, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all would leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.